The United States has announced that it has apprehended one of the suspects behind the terrorist attack on a U.S. diplomatic mission in Benghazi. Uh, his name is Ahmed Abu Katala, and the American military officials describe him as a key figure in the attack that killed four Americans, including the ambassador to Libya, Chris Stevens. CCTV's Jim Spellman joins us from the newsroom with more. And Jim, what do we know about his capture? According to the Pentagon, U.S. military personnel, likely special forces, along with the FBI, conducted a raid on Sunday in Libya and captured Katala. No one was hurt in the raid. They wouldn't say if anyone else was captured besides Katala. He's thought to be in his 40s and a commander in the Ansar al-Sharia militia in Libya. No photographs are known to exist of him, but he is no stranger to the media. In the months and years after the attack, Katala gave numerous interviews to Western media organizations where he denied having a role in the attack. These interviews were conducted out in the open at cafes in Benghazi. These interviews infuriated critics of President Obama, who claimed his administration wasn't doing enough to bring the people behind the attack to justice. The State Department is pushing back. Uh, that is not uncommon. It's far from, uh, far from uh, unprecedented for members of the media to interview uh, terrorists or interview uh, individuals uh, along these lines. Uh, we've seen that occur in other cases. And frankly, uh, it's not a surprise that an individual like this would show up for an interview. We don't think they would show up for uh, a scheduled meeting with the special forces. So obviously it's more challenging to undertake our operations. Okay. Uh, so still a lot of details yet to be learned about this raid and exactly how it went down, Elaine. And Jim, you know, you said that he is in U.S. custody, but where is Katala right now? U.S. officials would only say that he's en route to the United States and no longer in Libya. In the past, suspects in similar situations have been taken to U.S. Navy ships at sea for questioning. When they arrive on U.S. soil, they're handed over to so-called FBI clean teams. These are interrogators who haven't spoken to the suspect before and will only question him under, uh, under oath when he's been given his, his, uh, his rights in, in the U.S. Uh, justice system. Charges have been filed against Katala in federal court here in Washington, D.C., so this is where he will likely end up probably within the next few days. Elaine? All right. CCTV's Jim Spellman in the newsroom with that. Thanks a lot for that.